Hey guys, before playing Carrie, I decided to read her skills properly, and after thinking about it for a while, I believe the best way to play her is by building her with tons of sustain items. Her passive alone will take care of the damage, and if you don't believe me, you can see for yourself throughout this gameplay. But before I continue, I would like to clarify some stuff. Lately, I have been reading a lot of comments saying that I'm not really playing solo, which is why it's so easy for me to win the game. But you can easily check if that's true or not at the end where it shows you score. These hearts indicate if you are playing with teammates or not. Also, there are some comments that say that I'm smurfing and I'm just playing against low ranked players. But I only use my main account to play, which means I'm playing in the highest rank. You can see that almost everyone in this match is in mythical glory. Anyway, now that we got these things out of the way, let's continue with the gameplay. In this one, the enemy has some very hard hitters heroes, such as Benedetta and Roger, but with this build, I won't need to be too afraid of them. Here, I was planning to go for Roger. You can see that I was planning to go up. But then Johead accidentally threw me towards the Akai instead. I thought Akai had no way to escape, so I tried to secure another kill. I remember that Roger had low HP the last time I saw him, so I was trying to look for him. With the core out of the way, I felt it was a good time to take the turtle. Also, I was taking into consideration that the others are not level 4 yet. Although I had quite a decent start, we are not that way ahead. The score is still even. With this build, I'm not really too scared to fight Benedetta, which is definitely one of the most OP heroes in the current meta. The enemy probably saw that three of us are in the top lane, so they decided to use this opportunity to take the turtle. Smart choice. Here, I don't know where the enemies are, but seeing I saw that Ruby is in the mid-bottom bush, 
I decided to stay close to that bush because we have vision there. That's how you can easily avoid getting picked off first, especially if you are the core or a squishy hero. I reckon Sylvana could solo take down the turret, so I went to farm instead. It's important to maximize your farm and be as efficient as possible, especially when you are playing the core. Thanks to our constant early game rotation, we were able to destroy all of their most outer turrets. That opens up the map a lot and allows us to pick them off easily. Not sure where the rest of their team was, so I didn't want to risk it and pursue any further. Even without the attack jungle item and other attack items, you can see that Kerry's damage is still absolutely incredible while still being able to sustain so much damage. Three of them are dead, this is the perfect time to take the Lord. Since I lost quite a good amount of HP, I can use the jungle and minions to get my HP back. Now we just need to wait for the Lord to spawn and push with it. But like usual, we are fighting even before the Lord spawn and the main damage dealer is not even there. Well, now the game has become a lot more interesting.
If you know the hero's mechanics, you can anticipate a lot of their skills and play around them. Like in this situation, Joya should have waited for Benedetta to cast her skills first, then he can use all of his skills. Okay, I admit it. Lately, I have been too greedy for kills. XD. With this unkillable build, now you won't have the issue of getting picked up first during the team fights. You'll have so much sustain that the enemy will think twice before trying to kill you first. As for the damage, just let Carrie's passive do all the work. I hope you found this video entertaining, and if you did, consider leaving a like and subscribing. Thanks. Yeah!